Big Mac tacos tonight. Fear of missing out. Everyone's been doing these Big Mac tacos on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. You know how it goes. Social media's taking over Big Mac tacos tonight. Here we go. So first things first, we want to get our coals nice and hot. We're using commodity CI5 lump charcoal while they get nice and hot. We've got our smash blade sitting around there. So once they're hot, we're going to chuck the smash blade on and we're going to be away. Okay, we've got our smash blade on, heating up nicely. So I've just seasoned it with a bit of rice bread and oil, spray and oil. It's nice and easy, but be careful, it is flammable, so it will spark up at you. But try and pre-season it before we get it hot. Nice and greased up, look at that. So if you want a smash blade like this, go to Barbecue Bay of Islands, Kiri Kiri, talk to your man Ken, he'll hook you up. Best invention out, one of these. So convenient for the old Oklahoma Bronco. So pretty simple this, we've got some soft shell tortillas, old El Paso soft tortilla shells, regular. And we've just got plain beef mince that I've pressed out into a patty shape already. And I've suckle busters SPG on top of that. So that's salt, pepper, garlic, plain beef, good fat content, pre pressed all the patties. So what we'll do is we'll transfer this patty onto the tortilla, then she'll be bang on, ready for the grill. So easy as that, we've just transferred our beef onto our tortilla shells, shaped them out a bit better with our hands. Like I say, press the edge of that in a bit more. Pretty good. So now that's on there, what we'll do is we'll flip that back onto the tin foil we used, then we can just layer them up and continue making them as we go. So while the barbecue hot plate heats up, we're gonna get our stuff what we want ready. So we've got Dairy Works cheddar cheese because this is the best. We're gonna mount this onto the Big Mac tortilla as it cooks or once the meat side's browned off. Then we've got fresh crispy iceberg lettuce shredded. We've got finely chopped onion, white onion raw. We've got burger pickles, best foods mayo, sriracha, QP mayo, and burger sauce. So. Everyone in this household eating tonight is going to be different and have their own preference. For me, I've gone for convenience and we're going to have the Waddy's Burger Sauce. Uh, no doubt the kids will want mayonnaise without pickles, rah, rah. So the best part about cooking yourself is you can put what you want in it. And yes, if you are fancy, you can make your own burger sauce, which we'll probably do in another video later on by using mayo. I didn't have enough mayo to do my own sauce. So next video might make our own burger sauce. But as for now, pretty simple ingredients, safe as. And I should have mentioned sooner, Steph Moldy's knife. How good is this meat cleaver slash knife? It is razor sharp. So, stephmouldy.com. Check them out. Here it is there. Doing the damage. Not chopped onions. This is a knife for the job. Getting a bit dark on the piece now. Got the old headlamp on, but blade's nice and hot. Got our torch in here. We're just going to bloody carefully try and film and I might stop filming and whack them on there, eh? As easy as that. Meat side down. I'm just going to let them brown off and crisp up all around the edges of that meat to go nice and fed. And I'll flip them over and melt their cheese on there. Very thin meat patties on that, so see how thin that is. I doubt this is going to take very long at all. But there's a bit of moisture in that meat still, even though I salted it up. So I'm just going to let that steam out then when I think we're ready, I'll flip them over. Mince cooked, now we're going to flip it over, add that cheese, like so. I'm going to shut the lid and let it finish off. Sorry for the reflection on the camera there. Just using the headlamp to see. Cheese melting nicely, getting those crispy edges on the tortillas. Just about finished, shut the lid for another couple of minutes, and we're going to transfer it to a plate and take it inside and plate it off. So, here we have the final product. I've gone for the shredded lettuce, chopped onion, burger sauce, and QP mayo, or whatever it's called. Let's go for that bite. Not bad, not bad. Pretty good. We might say, like the disclaimer before, change a few things around, we'll give this another go another time, I'll say. This is a first time cooking these, so I have said, but um, so what I have noticed is, lift the little flap up, because the meat, it's still got moisture in it, even though I salt pepper garlic, it's still got moisture in it, so let the, leave the flap up, let the steam out. Next time I think I'll cook the patties, as I'm cooking a smash patty on there, get the patty real crisp first, transfer it to the tortilla, then chuck the tortilla on the crispy the tortilla up. But so far, the ones I have cooked, this is my lot, is working, so I'll show you the final product in a second.